So here's our second example for the second case, which is repeated linear factors. Looking at this problem, we don't know it's repeated linear factors until we factor the denominator. And that's the key in all this, is making sure that you factor the denominator. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this 4x squared minus 20x plus, or minus 20x plus 25. If I factor that, it factors into 2x minus 5 and 2x minus 5, or we could say x minus 4 over 2x minus 5 squared. There's our linear factors, 2x minus 5 times 2x minus 5, and so that's what we're going to set it up as. So <clears throat> I have to first write it down to the first degree, and then write it down to the second degree, 2x minus 5 squared. Both denominators are linear, so I'm just going to put A and B on top. So this one should be pretty easy now that we have it factored. I'm going to go ahead and multiply both sides by the common denominator, 2x minus 5 squared. I'll multiply this one by 2x minus 5 squared. Multiply this by 2x minus 5 squared. That off the page there. All right, and now the left side denominators cancel, leaving us with x minus 4 on the left. One of the denominators, the 2x minus 5, cancels with one of those. So now I have a times 2x minus 5. And then here, the 2x minus 5 squared cancels with 2x minus 5 squared. And I'm left with just b. So this is actually going to turn out to be 2ax minus 5a plus b. If I set this up correctly, I have 2a is my constant. And so I got, let's see, 1x minus 4. So 2a is equal to 1. That's good. And this is my constant term here. So I got negative 5a plus b is equal to negative 4. Again, pretty easy to solve because a has got to equal 1 half. If I plug that in down here, I get negative 5 times 1 half plus b equals negative 4. That's going to give me negative 5 halves plus b equals negative 4. If I add 5 halves to both sides, everybody loves fractions. So negative 4 plus 5 halves. Well, negative 4 is like negative 8 halves. That's what that's equal to. So negative 8 halves plus 5 halves is negative 3 halves is equal to b. Now, because we have fractions as our a and b, we need to be a little careful as to how we plug this back in because this is a over 2x minus 5. If I were to write it like this, 1 half over 2x minus 5 minus 3 halves over 2x minus 5 squared, that's not really good. We don't like having fractions in fractions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put this number on the bottom, put this number on the bottom. And so it's really going to turn out to be 1 over 2 times 2x minus 5 minus 3 over 2 times 2x minus 5 squared. And that's my final answer. There's no need to really distribute this here. One, because you'd have to FOIL that first. And two, because we're trying to break it down into its simplest terms. And this would be our simplest terms. So there's our two examples for repeated linear factors. Just remember that if you have something, a linear factor being raised to an exponent, we write it to the first, to the second, to the third, however many times uh, that exponent is, and uh, that should work out. So uh, good luck and enjoy.